Welcome back guys. After discussing about the SA nodal action potential, now let's discuss about how the action potential happens in the ventricular myocyte. Guys, ventricular myocyte, it's not a nodal tissue. Okay, it's not a, it's not a nodal tissue, it's just a muscular tissue, right? Normally, see, as it's a muscular tissue, it's not undergoing self-depolarization. So, please look at here guys, the resting membrane potential, it's all the time resting. It's not, it's not a restless membrane potential. It's not a restless membrane potential. It's just a resting membrane potential. All the time, the cell is negative. At what membrane potential? At minus 90 millivolts. Okay, you just remember minus 90 millivolts. No need to remember minus 96. Simply remember that a ventricular myocyte is having a membrane potential of minus 90. Okay, negative potential. Now, whenever the action potential is coming from the SA node, now this action potential is getting distributed right from the SA node to the AV node to the AV node uh, from the AV node to the bundle of phase from the bundle of phase to the right bundle branch left bundle branch and from the Purkinje fibers. Now the action potential now it is hitting the ventricular myocytes. Now ventricular myocytes are they going to be getting activated or not? They are getting activated sir. Now they are undergoing depolarization whenever they receive the impulse from the SA node. Now what happens is that now these ventricular myocytes now they are undergoing depolarization see depolarization is happening here okay so this depolarization is considered as phase zero so phase zero is a depolarization now what is phase four phase four is resting membrane potential okay resting membrane potential of a ventricular myocyte is minus 90 millivolts now during depolarization what is happening from minus 90 millivolts from minus 90 millivolts now cell is getting towards positive side to somewhere plus 20 okay now the ventricular myocyte is moving moving towards plus 20 so this is the depolarization now you can ask me sir why this depolarization is happening why the membrane potential is moving towards the positive side why because entry of which ions entry of sodium ions okay entry of sodium ions whenever the ventricular myocyte Okay, whenever the ventricular myocyte is stimulated, electrically activated, immediately on this ventricular myocytes, voltage gated sodium channels are going to open. Okay, now they are sensitive to what? They are sensitive to voltage. Now, whenever electric electrical impulse comes and hits this ventricular myocytes, now voltage gated sodium channels are going to open. Now, what happens? Sodium is more outside the cell, less inside the cell. So, automatically all the sodium will start to enter into the cell. So, sodium is coming into the cell, cell is undergoing depolarization, cell is getting positivity. So, depolarization is happening, it is because of what? It is because of the influx of sodium. After some time, what happens? The influx of sodium decreases. Okay. Now, remember all the time, the potassium is leaving out of the cell. Potassium is leaving out, leaving out. All the time it is leaving out. Okay, no doubt. So, when the sodium ion entry into the cell decreases, when it decreases, what happens? Now potassium is leaving out, leaving out, leaving out. So again the potential, again the membrane potential starts to come down, fall down. So this is called as initial repolarization. See repolarization is happening. This is phase 1. Initial repolarization is because of the stopping of sodium into the cells. Okay. Stopping of sodium ions into the cell and potassium is exiting the cell. This is initial repolarization. But something happens now. Potassium is going out. Now what will happen, you know, calcium starts to enter into the cell. Calcium is now entering into the cell. Positivity is going out as well as positivity is coming in. So what I am trying to say is, so there is this phase which is called as a phase 2. This phase 2. In this phase 2, what exactly is happening? Potassium is going out, no doubt. Potassium is going out. But at the same time, calcium is also coming in. Okay, calcium is also coming in. So, Positive ions are going out at the same time, positive ions are coming in. So that's why the membrane potential is not coming down, it's not falling. So it means there comes a stage called as plateau or phase 2. Phase 2 is a plateau phase where the calcium is coming in influx and potassium is going out. Later, what happens, sir? After some time, even the calcium entry into the cell also decreases. Calcium entry into the cell also decreases again. So, potassium efflux continues. Potassium is kept on going out, kept on going out. So, now again the resting membrane potential is attained. Again, it is coming down to resting membrane potential. So, these are the important phases, the four important phases in the 
action potential of a ventricular myocyte. What are they? Phase 4 is resting membrane potential, phase 0 is depolarization, phase 1 is initial repolarization, phase 2 is a plateau phase and phase 3 is repolarization. Repolarization is all the time because of the flux of potassium. Don't forget. Now the kind of questions that will come in your exam is, so in SA node, Okay, when we are discussing about SA node, the depolarization in SA node is because of the influx of calcium. Okay, in SA node, depolarization is calcium dependent. But in ventricular myocyte, the depolarization is dependent on influx of sodium. But in both SA node as well as the AV node, the repolarization, sorry, SA node as well as the ventricular myocyte, the repolarization is due to efflux of potassium. It's due to efflux of potassium. Okay. Now that's what we have, just kept it in the table, just now let's see one more time. Phase 4 is resting membrane potential. Now all the time resting membrane potential is because of what? During resting membrane potential, sodium potassium ATPs are working, leaky potassium channels are working, potassium is all the time going out. So all the time cell is under negativity. How much? Minus 90, minus 90 resting membrane potential. Now whenever impulse come from SA node, strikes the ventricular myocytes, what happen? Now there is rapid depolarization. This depolarization is due to influx of sodium ions through voltage gated fast sodium channels. Okay, sodium is coming in. Now, sodium is coming into the cell, into the cell. So, resting membrane potential is moving from minus 90, it will go to plus 20 or even plus 30. Okay, now what happens? Later, what happens? Now, during phase 1, entry of sodium into the cell decreases. Now, potassium efflux is happening. So, there is initial repolarization, initial repolarization due to what? Inactivation of Sodium channel, so sodium is not coming into the cell and potassium efflux, potassium efflux is happening, okay, through the transient outward potassium channels, through the transient outward potassium channels, potassium is all the time going out, okay. Now in phase 2, what is happening in the plateau? Potassium ions are going out, no doubt. At the same time, calcium ions are coming into the cell via L-type calcium channels. So positivity is going out, positivity is coming in, that maintains, see, both, since both the positively charged ions, since both, since both are, Okay, potassium is a positive charged ion and calcium is a positive charged ion. Since both are positively charged ions, membrane potential stays plateau. Okay, stays plateau. Now in phase 3, what is phase 3? It is also the repolarization but it's a late repolarization. Why? Because initial repolarization is phase 1, phase 3 is a late repolarization. What is happening? Now potassium is going out, continuation, more potassium is going out. Now through the delayed rectifier potassium channels, okay, through the delayed rectifier potassium channels, more and more potassium is going out, bringing back the resting, bringing back the membrane potential to again minus 90, okay. And again phase 0 is rapid depolarization, okay, this is already discussed. Now important points is, so, depolarization in ventricular myocardium, okay, we are discussing about the ventricular myocardium, right, the ventricle. Depolarization happens from which layer to which layer? We know heart is made up of how many layers, three layers, endocardium, myocardium, pericardium, okay. So, depolarization is all the time happening from the endocardium to the epicardium, okay, from in to out, depolarization, activation of the ventricular myocytes, it is happening starting from the endocardium, in, in to out, okay, but the nature have designed our myocardial cells or heart in such a way that depolarization is happening from in to out and repolarization okay the first cells to undergo repolarization are the epicardial cells okay they will they are the last cells to undergo depolarization but they are the first cells to undergo repolarization so repolarization is happening from epicardium towards the endocardium so here we have discussed the phases of the ventricular myocytes phases of the ventricular myocytes now with this the topic is completed. In the next video, let's discuss about the antiarrhythmic drugs. Okay, how the antiarrhythmic agents are going to control or going to affect the action potential of ventricular myocyte. Okay, guys, hope the video is helpful. Thank you.